Hey, how's it going guys? It's Owen here and here's another here's my first tutorial for you guys. It's really how to create intuitive joints and working muscles in Cinema 4D on a character. So let's jump right into this and I'll show you what you have to do. So if you go up to this objects tab here up in the top, uh, we can see we have a cube. So what we can do first is go down to there and click on figure. I'm just going to move him up a bit so he's in my site. So as you can see, this is a very basic figure, but it sort of shows you the joints we have. So right here, we have a ball and socket joint. We have a hinge joint here and another hinge joint there. Ball and socket around there hinge there. So just some really basic things. Now what we're going to want to do first is create this figure into a editable object so you can either click over here on the edit objects or you can just click C and make it editable. Now what you'll find is if we're using the standard Cinema 4D figure we get all these different things. Now if we try and just move them around it only moves that one thing so what we need to do is create this into one solid object so if we click figure right click and go to select children we have everything and then we can just uh, right click again and go connect so now we have one single figure and we can delete the original and this is now an editable object but it's just one thing so if we go up to here and go up to character and click on joint tool you'll see that it won't do anything at first this is because it's mainly on move as a default so we want to change that to draw so we can draw some bones and everything and then if we go back to move you can move them individually around so, you won't. The, the problem with this is trying to draw it in here will give you a very bad thing. It will just go everywhere and it's really hard to line it up. So, the thing you want to do first is go, instead of in perspective view, go into front view. So, you can see the whole body from the front. Now, what we want to find is a place because this first bit first joint is the root which moves everything else Ooh. so that one if you move that it moves everything so we want to find somewhere on the body that is just a standalone that's not going to move and for this I'm going to choose the pelvis just here so right there because we don't really move that much and that's the most simple place to do it then what we want to do is carry on going up the body just clicking where we want the joints so we probably want one about there so that is somewhere around about here and then click above that the good thing with this figure model is that from the wireframe we can see all the different things that probably need joints. Now as this is the spine as such you would think we would just go right up to the neck but we are going to need to include some arms in this rig so we're going to click right there in between so we can veer off to the left and right. Sorry if I'm moving this a bit too much. Uh, then we want to do the neck one and two and click up to the head like so now if we go back to this move tool we can see that they're not all in line perfectly so a good thing to do is go down to your first one and put it on the line you want it so I'm gonna go right down the middle line which gives you a really good base and you can be more precise if I'm going to rig this 
properly, I would take a lot more time and a lot more care into this, but for this tutorial I'll just go over some quick basic rigging. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial, then just comment and I can do that. And last one at the top of the head, this one actually goes over. So it's going to move that onto the tip of the head, like so. Now, for the next bit, we're going to be rigging the arms. And we can't just basically put another joint in here. Because if we do that, it's going to go from the very top. Oh, sorry, we're still. Just remember, go off of move and go back to draw. And then it's going to go from the top down, so we can't start rigging there. So what we have to do is click on our joint that we want to do it from, which is there. But we can't here <laughs> then go off to the right, because that creates another root. So in our joint tool, we're going to go where it says root null, and we're just going to uncheck that. Then go to your joint. And to save a lot of time, instead of because this is a very symmetrical thing, we're not going to do that and then do it on the other side as well. So we can go back into the joint one last time, click on symmetry and go draw. Now whenever we click, it does it on both sides. So just follow the joints again. And we'll do one at the end of the hand. In fact, no, we're not going to do one at the end of the hands because otherwise that will start moving around. We don't actually need to move the fingertips. This is, uh, as we can see on here, it's just one solid hand. Now, we have a problem here. And that problem is that the joints don't actually line up with the body. So what we're going to have to do is go back onto our move tool again and keep it on draw for the symmetry but we're just going to have to move each individual one so we don't actually have to be so far out because we can do it on this one and it will do it on all of them so just move each individual joint to the right place like so and it does it on both sides now if you go back into perspective You can see you can move it around there, but it's a lot harder. So if you just go into top view, you can see it from wherever. Right, the last piece of this rig is the legs. Because I'm not going to model the feet, because we don't really need it for this one. So find your pelvis joint, which is here. And just remember to go back onto your jaw tool. That's the main thing. And start drawing away. A good thing to do is create a solid wide one here so that you have like a base for the legs to move so you can move the hips as well and then just carry on going down like so and there you go now once again we're going to go into our side view here so we're going to go into right and they're not actually lined up properly, so go back into move and just change these around until we sort of line them up with the shape of the leg. Like so. So that looks about right for our leg. Maybe these could be moved in a tad. And there we go. So if we go back into the perspective, we can see that they're all inside. You see, the, the main problem people have from here is if we try and move, say, an arm, it's not going to move the arm, it's just going to move the joint. So what we have to do, this is why we created the single figure on its own. We've got to click the root and right click again and select children so everything is selected. 
control click on the figure and then go up to character command if you're in R12 and go bind so now that you get this not much has changed we just see this um, weight tool and skin we don't really need to worry about the skin but now if you put it on say rotate and rotate one of these joints it now rotates the whole arm which is really good nice and simple you can rotate it whatever way whatever way you want And it just works really well. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, in my next tutorial, I'll go a bit more in-depth with this. And we will go into the weight tool. Which you can use to do stuff like that. And then change quite a lot around on the figure so it's now weighted and looks a bit more like a real human but that's pretty much the tutorial guys thanks for watching I would really appreciate a like uh, just comment if you want the models I have two models one of these figures and a base mesh figure which is a woman figure all rigged and ready for you to use so thanks a lot guys and have a nice day peace